Let's say that you have a full benefit today of 3,627. That's the maximum benefit at age 67. You say, well, what happens to that benefit if I'm actually 62 and I start? Well, you're going to get 30% less, $2,538. Wow. Hi friends, this is Colin Richards. I'm president and founder of Lord & Richards. And once again, we're talking in this particular episode on a series called, Can I Count on Social Security? And in this episode, we're gonna address a really key component of your social security benefits, and that is, how do I maximize the size of my check, right? Because the idea is you stop working, you start taking social security, and the checks come rolling in month after month. And it's an important benefit. As we've discussed in our previous segment, we can count on it being there for us. Yes, even with the challenges, Social Security is going to be there for us. So is it an important benefit? Well, think about this. If you paid over the course of your working career, together with your employer, or if you're self-employed, 12.4% in FICA taxes to create your benefit, you created a benefit. Well, let's assume that you earned enough to get the maximum monthly benefit. That's 3,627 if you're taking Social Security at 67, age 67 right now. So $3,627 a month. Wow, that's a pretty good check. Well, if you did that, and let's assume the long-term average of cost of living adjustments to Social Security is 2.6%. Here's what it looks like. After just 10 years you have taken nearly $500,000 in income. After 20 years, $1.1 million in income. And after 30 years, get this, almost $2 million in income. Incredible. So folks, this is an important benefit. And one of the things we first need to do, it's not the end point, but it is a starting point, is find out how to maximize that benefit. Now, there are all kinds of calculators out there. One of my favorites is put on uh, by Dr. Lawrence Kotlikoff. He's got a great book that we give our clients called Get What's Yours. I love the title. Uh, It kind of appeals to greed, but the idea is, look, you paid into the system. You deserve to get the most possible out of the system. So how do we maximize? Well, to start with, you have one chance to get this right. There's no do-overs. Now, you used to be able to pay the money back, and you can still do that within 12 months of filing, but no longer can you just do that after several years. So you've got to get it right. You've got to file it at the right time. Now, most Americans will make the mistake of filing at the beginning of their potential benefit period, which starts at age 62. And that's because it's expedient. Or maybe they bought into false information about Social Security going away or something like that. Well, that's the vast majority of Americans. That's not going to be you because today you're informed that you don't do it that way. As a matter of fact, there used to be a little video of Patty Duke explaining to you on Social Security's website how you could take your benefits. And it said it's so easy in just 15 minutes. Well, in just 15 minutes, you could actually lose potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. You say, well, what do you mean, Colin? Well, this Social Security formula is a complex formula. It's more complex than our IRS tax code. You say, I don't believe it. Well, let me tell you about that. There are 2,728 rules to follow, 567 different ways to claim. And we've seen differences depending on when folks filed, as we project out in our financial independence review process of up to $400,000 over your lifetime. What would you do with $400,000? Wow, I can think of a lot of things, right? So doing it at 62 could potentially destroy tremendous wealth for your family. And here's the tricky part is if you call up Social Security or you go down to the office, they're not allowed to advise you on ways to maximize your check, right? They can tell you how to file now, but of those 567 ways to claim, they're not going to tell you which one is the right one for you. You say, well, how do I determine which one's the right one for me? Well, starting 
by understanding how Social Security works is going to help you. The benefit depends primarily on your 35 highest years of earnings and what age you start, right? So even if you cut lawns or, you know, made a little bit of money as a teenager, don't worry. What Social Security does is it looks back at the 35 highest years that you work. So for some folks, maximizing their benefit might mean working a little longer. Now, is that what we recommend for everybody? No, at Lord & Richards. We're interested in trying to get you retired as soon as you desire so you can get busy doing the things that you love with the people that you love and not having to work to pay for it. That's our definition of financial independence. But for some of you, if it's going to make a serious problem to not work a little bit longer, we may recommend that. And then that depends also on the age at which you receive your benefits. So your 35 highest years and what year you start. You can start at 62. Let's say that you had a you have a full benefit today of 3627 that's the maximum benefit at age 67 we call it full retirement age you say well what happens to that benefit if i'm actually 62 and i start well you're going to get 30% less $2538 wow yeah and so you tend to average about 5 to 6% increase in benefits from age 62 to age 67 per year. So waiting from 62 to 67 will allow you to get up to 1100 more a month. You say, yeah, but I want to get it while the getting's good. Well, here's the primary problem in Social Security. It's not about getting it when the getting's good. It's about addressing the real risk to you. And that is that as costs continue to rise, you are going to have an ever-increasing need for more income throughout retirement. This is something people aren't told. Often you're told, hey, I'm you're going to have a a low income need in retirement. You'll be old. Well, that's not my clients. My clients are out having fun, seeing grandkids, traveling. Their discretionary spending goes up in retirement. So waiting a little bit to take your benefit can greatly increase the odds that you will never run out of money. And if you'll wait from 67 to 70, that benefit jumps all the way up by another 24% to 4,497 a month. Huge jump. Wow. And with cost of living adjustments that occur between full retirement age and age 70, even if you're not taking your benefit, that translates to approximately $4,800 per month. Wow. What a difference. You say, well, should I wait? Should I wait? Well, that is a personal question because often the question isn't, should I maximize my benefit? But how do I optimize it for what I want to do? Maybe you don't want to wait till 70 to retire. Maybe you've got other sources of income that can kick in. All kinds of things can affect your individual circumstance. This is why I'm going to recommend do not rely on online or paid for Social Security calculators. They're not enough. If you're going to a workshop and and somebody's telling you, hey, we're going to use a calculator, discard that. What you need to do is you need to have a sophisticated tool built into comprehensive planning software so that you take out Social Security together with your withdrawals from your IRAs and 401ks, potential pensions, and other income sources in the optimal way. And that's what we're going to talk about in our next segment. You need to optimize your Social Security. But if you're already saying, hey, you know what? I think I need a little help with the Social Security thing. It's something that we love to do. And we're helping people file for their benefits and get them going every single day, just like you. And it simply starts with a financial independence review, a conversation about how you can retire financially independent with, without worry. <laughs> 